Previously on Rock of Love. We've divided into two groups, the bad girls and the good girls. Brandy C is a very young soul. Really? I'm not a whore. Yeah, I got two little girls that are beautiful. I have a little boy. He's seven. Wow, that is awesome. Her instant bond was just like that. She talked about her son. I talked about my daughters. To the future. To the future. Today, he swept me off my feet. And I hope and pray that he keeps me around. I need to wear all the dead animals in this house. Look at you. If I can get Dallas to hit me, she's going home. Meat versus no meat. I have not worn leather in eight years. We're not here to date you. It ain't going to work in this house, and one of them's got to go. Will you stay here and rock my world? Dallas is gone. I had a lot to do with that. And I'm going to continue picking off these girls one by one until they're all gone. So tonight, Dallas and Christia get eliminated. Things are getting crazy again. Bartender, I need a vodka drink. My best friend, Christia, she went home, and I need to drown my sorrows with liquor. Can I have some champagne? Thank you. I love to party, but as I was sitting there, it just hit me that I miss my son. And then I started crying. God. <laughs> I miss my son. Rodeo's crying tonight. I don't really know what's going on, so I went and got Brett. I see Rodeo's breakdown as an opportunity. I want Brett to see that she probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> Brett came to me to console me and ask him what was wrong. I'll walk with you. Let's go call your brother, all right? As much as I want to be here with Brett, being away from my son is the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do. <laughs> Rodeo had an absolute breakdown over her son. I just held her for a while and told her it was going to be OK. Um, I told her how badly I was missing my girls. And I really kind of got very, very close. I just wasn't sure how long she would last in this crazy house of rock. I wish I was as drunk as I look. You Who in there thinks that Drunkarooski's drunk? Where's Brett? Where the f is our man? No offense to you girls. <laughs> but I'm sick of hanging out with you <laughs> girls. Sick of looking at you. Now that Christina's gone, I don't really care to talk to anybody else here. So I'm like, I'm just going to hang out with Brett. I need time with him. I would love for uh. nothing for him to at least hang out for 10 more seconds. We're here to win Brett. We're here to date him. And if you like him, of course you're going to try to go in his room. It's just, it's not rocket science. What are you doing? Waiting to see Brett. It's not going to happen tonight, honey. But you know what? How did I miss it already? Where? How? Where did it go? I was there. Pay I was there. But I want to hang with him now. It's not gonna happen. How can he do this to me? Doesn't he want to see me alone? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> There's music going on upstairs. Good morning, beautiful ladies. As you know, music is my life, and today I want you to inspire me creatively by writing some lyrics to these two songs that I've created. It is extremely important to me that the girl in my life is also creative. And so I created this challenge in which they took two different songs from my solo album and got to write their own lyrics. So they could choose from a real up-tempo hard rock song, or they could choose from a ballad. And we're gonna get up here, we're gonna have you sing it, riff it, and really believe it. And the whole theme is love is. So we're going to break you down in five teams of two. The first one is going to be Heather and Magdalena. What the f***, Brett? We've all heard one of Mag Dandrathal's songs before. Once I receive the phone call from LA, I'm going to see you, my little Brett Day. Oh, so screwed. The next team will be Jess and Brandy M. Lacey and Aaron. I'm a musician. I uh, have been in a touring band for the past five or six years. This is perfect for me. Sam and Brandy C. 
Brett calls out that I'm gonna be paired with Samantha today and I'm I'm not happy about this. I'm just kinda like, oh God. Rodeo and Mia. Yeah! Shake it, girl. <laughs> there you go, all right. I feel very confident. I love to sing. I sing in weddings, I sing karaoke. It was a dream come true for me. To the team who wins, one of you get a date tonight, which is gonna be killer, and one of you get a date tomorrow, which is gonna be equally killer. We got two hours to do this, all right? Showtime is in two hours. Come on over, grab all your stuff. Yes. I'm serious, this is like scary to me. This is I am probably the least musical person in this house, and I am paired with Lacey. I am terrified, terrified. I mean, this is what I do. This is what I do. This yeah. isn't good. This is not good. And you can just like hum or something. I, you know, I can do you back can up sing. sing. Do you want to have a tambourine? Yes. And I'll do the vocals? Yes. Brett pairs me with Brandy C. We are so opposite, and I'm Now we watch our kids play under a rainbow of never-ending love. What the f is wrong with her, and what is she thinking? Holy f That was awesome! <laughs> Girls, do you see what Rodeo did, baby? I'm gonna win his ass. Holy <laughs> We can do this. We can't play instruments, we can't freaking sing. All we do is smoke cigarettes and drink. Oh my God, I can't do this. Then later. You haven't quit on anything in your life. Rodeo's breaking down again. Every time I turn around, she's crying. <laughs> This is like scary to me. This is worse than like, I feel extremely confident. I, th I think we're gonna win. This, I mean, this is what I do. Today there is a music challenge and I am terrified. We have two hours to write lyrics and then we have to get up on stage and perform. But in this situation, this is, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, we're gonna get creative. Obviously Aaron's not gonna be able to contribute anything to this challenge. It's all gonna rest on my shoulders. I am determined to win that date with Brett. I've been writing lyrics and songs since I was five years old, honestly. I already have lyrics. Right, let me read the Yeah, I didn't even right. writing lyrics all along, I forgot. Sam's been, you know, just being really quiet, but writing things down in this creepy little journal that she keeps, so I score here automatically. We already have lyrics. How about an eye merged with blood lace might? Okay. From the stampede is too much. Right when we start into this, there's still a lot of the song left. We can't just keep repeating I'm falling, hold over heels. This? Rodeo wanted to put in our song something about like kids, referring to her kids and his kids. And I was a little unsure about it because it didn't really go with our song. Grab our LA kids. Grab our LA kids like sunlight. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's do the lyrics first. And they have to go one, two, three, one, two. They have to match, like lengthwise. I was very excited when I found out we're gonna be writing music and we're gonna be singing songs for Brett. And all I know is that I hope Heather is not gonna it out for me. We have no music talent, so mm -hmm. it's just, we're gonna create one today though. She's really not musically talented and she can swing around the pole good. Love, okay, what, what, love does, is, what does it rhyme with? Love, this is my love, and so what love rhymes with? Well, Something is second. taking me above. That's when I know that I'm in love. Yes, that's when I know, write it down, seriously. Magdalena's lyrics might make sense in Poland, they sure as hell don't make sense here. Is that better? That's when I knew that I was in love. I'm not musically inclined. I suck at this. Brandy and I, no. Neither of us have anything to do with music. You know what I mean? We can't play instruments, we can't freaking sing. All we do is smoke cigarettes and we know how to drink. That's basically what we have in common right now. I am not letting one of these girls be us. No, but we're doing this. We're gonna rock it out and bang it out. Let's watch our kids play in the sandbox. This is very weird. Very, very weird. She was dead set on incorporating something about the kids in there. Watch our kids in LA, sunlight. No, no. It's a little bit frustrating to me with Mia because I actually took out a lyric that was beautiful that said, I would love you just like a rainbow that's endless in the sky. Grab our kids LA style. Let's love right, baby, because I wanna fly. 
Do you want a beer? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna just run real quick. I get more creative when I'm a little cocktail. Yeah, so same here. Time's on the clock. And me and Jess grabbed two beers and said, you know what, let's drink and write this shit out. We gotta pretend mm -hmm. that we have a guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we got it. Yeah, yeah. I see, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna go up there and be like. I don't even know what to do with this girl. I literally spent half an hour just trying to get her to go one, two, three, four. And she can't even do that. It, you know, I'll, I'll dumb it back down for you. We're gonna... <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm quite positive Brad is gonna see that I'm a musician. So I know I can win. You're never <laughs> no, man, you love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. I just want to show Brett that even though I can't sing, I can still have a good time and rock it out. I feel good that, about That's this. been good for a while. Yeah. I'm going for the solo date. I'm determined I'm gonna win. From complete darkness, I am the light. Yeah. Let's do voice lessons right now, really quick. Talk about monotone. Like she, she can't sing for the life of her. Mame me mo mu. Mame me mo mu. Seem like they're cold. Seem like they're cold. Okay. Is the one who. Are we longing with that? Let's figure this one out. She's tone deaf, this girl. When we do seem like they're cold, pretend you're doing mom, mamie, momu, just seem like they're cold. <laughs> seem like they're cold. Oh my god. I'm I just know it. I know. All right, girls, come on up, gather around. Oh. Do you all feel good about what you're writing? Of course. Yeah. You feeling strong about it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. I promise you I was going to bring you someone who's a good friend of mine, legendary radio personality and music expert. This guy's absolutely awesome. Please welcome, big round of applause, Richard Blade right here. Thank you. Very welcome. Great to be here, Brett. I'm excited about this. And of course, legendary Big John. <laughs> all right, so girls, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, here we go. Aaron and Lacey, come on up here. We get up on stage, I'm clutching my tambourine. I'm so terrified that I can't even look up from the floor. When I wake up and Come on, Circus Hooters. I mean, how hard is it to stand up there and tap a tambourine with a stupid stick? I'm filled with the warmth that the sun cannot replace. I pretty much did everything. I wrote all the lyrics, I wrote the vocal melodies. I know I have more music ability than all the girls in the house put together, so I think that um, I can make up for what Aaron doesn't have. Your smiles were what keeps me alive. Um, thank you. The, uh, the next two girls up, Heather, Magdalena, come on up. Rock our world, let's go. Standing here. Magdalena sings. Sounds a little like a drag queen. Never saw you, never touched you. But she's a big girl, she's got a deep voice. The singing was not great, but I did like the lyrics that you came up with. Next up, for our entertainment pleasure, we have Jess and BB. Come on up here. It's time to perform our song. And Jess and I are feeling very confident. We have a lot of similar style, and we're ready to punk rock the out of this. Jess and Brandy M were Adorable. Just, I was like, that's rad. Love it, so I wanna love you. Wow! Wow! Very. <laughs> this song uh, touched me <laughs> on many levels. Jess and Brandy M kicked ass all over that stage, uh, owning it. They had a lot of energy, and um, it caught my attention immediately. Next up on our stage today to bring the show will be Rodeo and Mia. Bring it. I'm falling in our heels for you, baby, let's rock tonight. Mia and Rodeo, I mean, come 
on. Worse and w more worse. Grab our LA kids and love right. There was lyrics in here about children, and obviously Rodeo's missing her boy because the lyrics didn't quite fit the song. Rock! What made you choose the rock song over the ballad? Okay, I can answer that. We both agreed that in order to carry out the rock for you, for your future, is to have kids involved because the children are the ones that are growing up and they're gonna make your, your rock music live. What I was trying to communicate in this song relates to my child, him. And I swore that I would always include my son, and I would always include the kids. And we also know that your kids mean a lot to you, and we wanted to involve this with kids as well. Rodeo's always talking about our kids, and it's getting crazy. Here we go, next up, and the grand finale in the competition, Sam and Brandy C. So all that's going through my mind right now is, this really sucks. Coming up. Every time I turn around, she's crying. Girl needs to get her emotions in check. <gasps> she's just getting really annoying. Oh. And later. Oh. Yeah. Once I start to party, I just gotta keep on partying. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what happened in that bedroom will forever remain a mystery. I don't want to be here. Here we go, next up in the grand finale in the competition. Please welcome to the stage, Sam and Brandy C. Brett calls us down and we're getting ready to start and I'm definitely cute enough to get up there and have my, my rocker hairdo and my blue eyeshadow and just pull this off. I actually wrote these lyrics. This song is called Your Fallen Angel to Brett. The sound of this beat is in my soul. Words from my mouth may seem like they're cold. Cause I've been messed with, I've been lied to, betrayed by. When you're putting these lyrics together, what are you thinking? What inspired, I mean, something Just being in-, in this house. I think that we never know if we're being lied to, if, if, you're, if you're being honest with us, if you really like us, if it's just a facade, and I think we're really trying to figure it out. Fair enough, thank you very much. I think Sam is harboring some severe mistrust issues that I would uh, be dealing with in the near future. All right, ladies. Richard and John and myself want to get down to this critique, all right? First of all, we're going to start with Magdalena and Heather. You could tell it was a team effort, and the two of you worked together well. Thanks. I did like the lyrics that you came up with. Now, who was it who was the main force behind the lyrics? I mean, you did a great job. Actually, I feel like the lyrics were both of our work as well. All right, we're moving right along here. Next up were uh, Jess and BB. I thought you girls looked terrific. Well, I didn't like the guitars. I think you girls are cute enough and had enough energy that you could have stood behind the mics and just tried to sell yourselves. Pull this stick out of your ass, Richard. It was a joke. Next up, we have um, Aaron and Lacey. I know coming into this that Erin has openly admitted many times that she would much rather watch from off the stage than be on the stage, and obviously it, it hurt the performance. I worked so hard. Erin stood there like a dead tree. She was staring at her toes the whole time. She didn't dance, she didn't move. You know, she just was like petrified and didn't even make eye contact with Brett. Next up, we've got Rodeo and Mia. You girls work together really well. You gave a great performance. Grab and love right. 
Which of the two of you, by the way, did write the lyrics? We both kind of wanted to make it like a team thing, so we were like, well, let's just take some from me, some from her, and put them together. And, and you know, and just trying to involve the kids, I guess that was... An, that it... I know some of the reason you chose the kids was because last night Rodeo had a uh, really um, a horrific moment where she was having a anxiety attack, missing her kid, and yeah. that's, I understand where that is, I mean, I mean, we, we bonded over that. Rodeo, I didn't know that about the anxiety attack last night and the thoughts about missing your child and that, but one suggestion is don't channel that energy into the song. All right, next up, we got Sam and Brandy C. We've got good and bad for you girls. Some of the, the lines that you came up with were just great. Lie to me, boy. Tell me I'm the one. We've all been in a relationship where you know the other person doesn't love you as much as you love them. The, the last thing I just want to say, vocals were unintelligible. The voices were terrible. Uh, the singing was bad. Lyrics to be proud of, singing to be embarrassed about. I want you to know I take this, all of us took this very seriously. Um, and this was my decision and the way I felt that it came down. Jess and I worked well together. I feel I have a pretty good shot. I think that I'm going to call this a tie. And what I want to do tonight is I want to take out Magdalena. I want to take out Heather. I want to take you out on a date. It's awesome that we won, but at the same time, a tie? I mean, come on. That's such a cop-out, Brett. And then tomorrow, we're going to try Samantha and Brandy on a date tomorrow. And we're just going to leave this as a tie, just like this. Brett decides it's a tie. First of all, that's bull because the other team did not do as well as us. Heather and Magdalena sucked. Thank you all for being up there as nervous as you were. And how about a round of applause for Richard being here tonight? Thank you. So it's a tie, and four more girls get to go on a date again, and I'm left at the house once again. I know. That nope. 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 Can't win every day, nope. baby. I know you want to. And I felt really bad that I brought it into that. This competition was a very tough competition, and I'm bummed that my teammate did not win. Well, when he brought it up, it made me feel like I used my child. Absolutely not. Brody is breaking down again. And I think that every time she talks about her kids, I think she thinks that Brett looks at her as being a weak person, and she didn't want that. And you know what? And there's no problem with throwing something like that in lyrics. Kids love music, and I'm trying to bring them into good music. And I love rock, and I love country. That's why I wear my hat. That's why kids love me. Every time I turn around, she's crying. Well, that sucks, is she in an emotional state because of her kid? I mean, I understand. But at the same time, I prepared myself. Mm -hmm. I miss my cat, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Abnormally, I miss her. Brody is kind of an attention whore. She's just getting really annoying. <laughs> Girl needs to get her emotions in check. No. 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 I felt like I used my child. Coming up. Every stripper will tell you that I'm quitting the next month. How much longer do you think you could do it? Can we not get through one dinner without the stupid stripper comment? I have trust issues. My father cheated on my mother. I don't think I'm going to be able to trust you. And later, two of you are going to be going home this evening. Tonight, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Good evening. Hello, hello. Ready to go out? Of course. How are you? Heather and I want to date with Brett, and uh, I'm happy because we won, but at the same time, I have to go on a date with freaking who? Heather. I am very pleasantly surprised because of all the singing, like you as a team yeah. sang the best. Mm -hmm. um, Rodeo got hurt because she said something like, why are you bringing I your kids into... She's been all emotional lately. Yeah, yeah she's, she's she having a son. tough tough go like obviously she's extremely emotionally involved with her children mm -hmm. which is the which way is I, which is why i respect yes, her absolutely my fear is that she's very very intense rodeo has got a lot of drama going on that big old head of hers so i don't blame brett for being concerned she has to take that into her soul mm -hmm. and say this is good or this is really not good so nice to meet you all. Good evening. Hello, Joy. How are you Mr. Michaels, welcome back to the Geisha House. You, Brett takes us to this awesome, fancy Hollywood sushi house. It'd been much better had it just been Brett and I, but 
Come now, remember, you guys got to teach me the art of actually dating. But I, is this not officially what you should be doing, like hanging and talking? Yes, yes. Dating is fun, but at the same time, you can get. I don't date. I'm so not a dater. I'm really, I'm really not. So how do you like meet someone? Like, if you yeah, I was just gonna say the same thing. Like being a dancer, like doesn't that make you like hate guys a little bit? No, it makes me an expert at men. Is what oh, it makes okay. me. Okay. I don't like Magdalena because she is a hater. Can we not get through one dinner without the stupid stripper comment? How much longer do you think you could do it and I'm feel? six months, I'm like, I gave myself a five year span. I've been doing it for four and a half years. Right, you got six left. That's it. Every stripper will tell you that I'm quitting the next month. She's not gonna quit stripping. She doesn't know how to do anything else, any damn ways. You know, I had 45,000 in student loans because right, right. my parents had, they, I had to put myself through college. I have a big heart and a lot of affection towards dancers. And you know what I love about Heather is she's trying to really let me know that she wants to go to another place in her life. And that made me feel much more emotionally bonded to her. I believe you requested these. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> now here's what we got for you guys doing such an awesome job. I got you these guitars and these are for you to keep. Brad brings out two beautiful electric guitars. I don't know how to play guitar, but I'm just so happy to, to even hold it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You have, I mean, are you having a good time? Because I'm not ready to go back to that house yet. Let's get hammer yes. and get belly rings. Yes. Let's get belly rings, piercings, tattoos. Let's do it. No, we're, we're thinking about, about it. it. We're, we're thinking about it. Whatever we want. I'm going to get yeah, it on my right. neck. I'll get it on my neck right here. When Heather told me that, and I was looking in her eyes that night, she looked beautiful, and I thought at that point she could be the one. This is hot, and this is commitment, but I wanted Heather's tattoo to be something that would be very private between me and Heather. I was gonna wait for a solo date. You know what I wanna do? Drink, party, booze. Yes! All right! All right let's go, let's go. come on. So great. Come on. I need a shooter. You guys are like rock stars or something. Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. Here we go. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This party started to get pretty out of control. Triple guess. Once I start to party, I just got to keep on partying. It's just the way it is. Once I feel good, I want to keep on, keep on feeling good. <laughs> I'm out, bitches. The real merge <laughs> <laughs> So we're all hanging out, having a good time. And Brett, Magdalena, and Heather all come back from their date. And they are completely trashed. And I think this is probably the 139th time I've seen Heather <laughs> You dance and I'll play. Ready? <laughs> Tell me. Smash it! Yeah. Smash it! <laughs> the party was getting out of control, and it possibly could kill me. And I'm not talking about in a good dying way. I'm talking about actually dying way. Oh, there they go. Into his room. Later that night, I noticed that the troops have fallen off. The sole survivors are the incomparable Brandy C, Heather, and Lacey. It's it. I know for a fact this is what I don't need to do. And this is gonna cost me my soul, but it's gonna be hot loving. I'm only human, damn it. Hold on, I gotta take care of something. I have a date today. No. Bitch. I wake up this morning and I realize it's date day, and I absolutely cannot wait to see what my boyfriend has in store for me. I feel like absolute crap this morning. I woke up in a puddle of my own drool. Liver swollen, no pants, almost completely naked. I'm a little hurting right now this morning. <laughs> Nobody loves to party harder than I do. However, we have been partying hard since day one, and it could possibly be killing me. I need to separate from any kind of thing that looks clear and gin-like. Yeah. Yes. Or anything in a beer container. Even rock stars need a day off. You know what, you guys are definitely the cause of the debauchery, though, because, because she and I were completely dead sober. You yeah. guys showed up. This morning, I'm pissed off at the facts of what happened last night with the bimbos sneaking in Brett's room trying to <laughs> <laughs> So after a little breakfast and chit chat, it's time to get down and dirty. I was like, you bitch. And I moved her. I was like, I pulled my pants out to kiss my Hey, what's everybody all riled up for? We're talking uh, about you. We're all a little excited for uh, whatever happens. We just had a good time, Something you know? No, I'm not saying anything did. I'm not saying anything didn't. Did you just do it? I'm not answering any of your questions. I'm sorry, but like if he your it's fair for me out, I don't want to kiss him if he just your Fair enough. I could tell that all the rumors are flying, all the girls are talking, and I love it. Talk to y'all later. 
I wanna go home. If he just wants to hook up with girls and that's all, I don't wanna be here. I need to talk to Brett about this and figure it out. How are you supposed to have a relationship with somebody and trust them not to cheat on you when you go into the relationship with him cheating on you? Exactly. How do you do that? You, yeah, it's impossible. It's, it's the f road. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. This Before isn't me, you know? Yeah. At all. Morning, ladies. What's up, EJ? Well, listen, I got a note from Brad. Please read it, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey. All right. Hello. Sam and Brandy C. You riffed my world with your song. So put on your boots and pull up your chaps. I hope you're ready to roll with me. As for the rest of you rockin' chicks, you'll just have to wait for my elimination picks. I was bummed because my dream date with him was to ride on a horse in his land. I'm really excited. I would love nothing more than to go ride some horses with Brett. Hello. Hi. Hello. You all ready to go? Yes. Come on, let's go. Brett ends up taking us to Paramount Ranch. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Cool. I don't think there's anything sexier than a beautiful woman in a cowboy hat riding a horse. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the coolest thing ever. Dana is amazing. It's so much fun. The horses. I love the way that they smell. Not like when they're going to the bathroom, but they just, they smell good. Oh my God, there's a bee in my head. Oh my God. 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 <laughs> you know, when you put Samantha and Brandy C together, you really realize how young of a soul Brandy C has. Oh man. Oh my God. Wow. Look, I got some more pretty. awesomeness. So after the horses, he walks us over to this picnic that he set up for us. And I noticed that he's also gotten me another present. Oh my god. This is so cool. You have to teach us. I don't know how. I have never held a guitar. They're telling me that it's out of tune, but I, I really don't understand what that even means. I was playing with my guitar, and I've learned that, you know, when you go down, the sound gets higher. So those must be the notes or something. I don't know. Well, cheers so far to a good horseback ride. Everything that is going on in this date couldn't be more perfect, but I made sure that I was going to be able to talk to Brett and find out if I would be able to trust him or not. Let's, can we talk about um, something else? Uh-oh. I could tell that something was really starting to bother Sam, and I took it very seriously. Grabbed Samantha's hand, and we just got away from everything and everybody, and, and I wanted to get into her mind and find out what was going on. So Sam takes my boyfriend away from me. This doesn't bother me because she's going there to talk about issues that they already have and they're not even together. Living in this house now and hearing things like what happened the other night, it just, it kind of made me sick to my stomach. It's stuff like that that makes me rethink my stay. I have trust issues. Right. My father cheated on my mother. And that's why I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to trust you. There's all these beautiful women here. It's like, I can understand where it's hard to say no, but I'm not here to get off. I'm here to find a relationship. When my mom and dad got divorced, I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Came home from school, it was Tuesday, i never forget it. And my mom was gone. I started telling her, you know, just things that had happened in my personal life, the reason I have mistrust issues. I think me and Sam are really starting to connect right here. But, but when you touch me and I touch you, I mean, I do feel something. That's what I'm talking about. Really intense. You obviously know that I really, really, really like you a lot, and I don't want you to leave. Okay. All right. I was planning on leaving, mm -hmm. and part of me, you know, is really afraid to stay, because who wants to get hurt? But I'm gonna try and stick around, I guess, for a little longer, and see what happens. There was a lot I just absolutely loved about Sam, but I'm not sure if I can totally be in a relationship with someone who can't trust me. But I gotta be honest with you, there was an elimination and two more girls were going home. I really gotta dig down deep and figure out what it is I'm looking for in my life. Coming up. The bimbos are trying to get in Brett's pants and after tonight, I guess we're gonna really see what Brett wants. Tonight, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Tonight's elimination night. It's been a crazy couple of days, and the bimbos are trying to get in Brett's pants. And after tonight, I guess we're gonna really see what Brett wants. I wish Brett would wake up 
and look at me and say, God, I want that figure of a mother in my child's eyes, in my home. After our day today, I'm hooked and it sucks. <laughs> he said that he liked me, and I think it was sincere. Talking to Brett encouraged me to stay. Good evening, ladies. You look beautiful as always. Tonight, we've got 10 beautiful women, and we've got eight passes left. And two of you are unfortunately going to be going home this evening. Tonight, I want to do things a little bit differently. Rodeo, would you come down here, please? The other night, you looked at me knowing how insane and crazy and melodramatic it is in this nut house. And I knew that you were, in some ways, asking me if you could go home and spend time with your son. I want you to go home and see your little boy and give him a hug for me, OK? All right, and when you do this, you take this hat with you. I had this thing made, I want you to have it, all right? Rodeo meant a lot to me, but I could see that this house, uh, the insanity we were going through was tearing her apart. She was missing her boy, and I needed to let Rodeo go, and I was gonna let her go with dignity. Bye, baby. Bye. It fills my heart. I'll never let it go. I didn't want to go. All right, um, anyway, uh, that was the toughest thing I've done in a long time. Oh, do you want to hit me a pass? Wow. I saw a different side of him, and it seems like he's got a heart of gold, so I'm impressed by him a lot. This girl has wasted much too much time in this house not getting to know them. Mia, would you come down here, please? Mia, will you stay in this house and rock my world? Yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Next girl, I want to keep for many important reasons. Jess, would you come down here, please? Will you stay here and rock my world? I'd love to. Will you stay in this house or rock my world? Yes, I will. Awesome. Thank you. Brandy M. BB, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here and rock my world? Yes, I would. Magdalena, would you come down here, please? So I'm standing here, and all the other girls are getting passes. And I'm thinking to myself, what's going on? I was so certain I'd be one of the first ones to get passed. This girl to me is still a complete mystery, but today is the first day I've had an absolute breakthrough. Sam, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in this house and rock my world? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Gave me a cliffhanger, didn't you? <sighs> Sam did not come here to drink and party. I think this girl's really looking for love. And I just felt really close to Samantha, and I wasn't ready to let this girl just walk out of my life yet. I've got three beautiful girls left girls that I have partied hard with. I've got two passes. I cannot believe it's down to me, Lacey, and Brandy C. I'm so confused. We've had the time of our life with Brett. I, I don't know what's going on. Why, why would he be sending one of us home? I don't get it. This decision that I'm making is based on trying one more time to see if I can get closer to someone who's sitting on the fence with me right now and see if I can make a tighter bond. Lacey, would you come down here, please? Stay here in this house and rock my world. You got it, babe. This next decision, I was down to two girls that I am obviously really care about a lot. We have partied, we have had fun, but I also need to move past that in my life a little bit and make a connection here. 
This girl is someone that I would like to keep in this house for right now to see if we can get past just the party. Heather, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here? Rock my world. I love to. Come here. I know a lot of the girls look down upon me and think bad things to me because I'm a dancer, but I don't care. I know Brett's into me. I'm classy, yet I'm fun, and I'm a good-hearted person. And uh, Brett sees that. Brandy, come here a second. Here is my rose and my thorn with Brandy C. The rose is that she was a free spirit, a wild child, a California love child, and I loved all that about her. However, I started to think that maybe Brandy C may only be a sexual relationship. I needed more than her to just be a party girlfriend. Now listen to me, okay? You are young, you are a free spirit. I come with a lot of baggage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I miss you, all right? I was really shocked, <laughs> really shocked right now. I can't believe that he would keep people like Aaron or, you know, like Jess and Mia. It's so obvious how much I like him and he's gonna let me go above those other girls. Let's make a little toast, but let me just say this because my liver is not in great shape right now. Tonight, if you don't mind, we'll take one break. How's that sound? So now that Brandy C's gone, Heather and I definitely have our agenda now. We're going to stop concentrating so much on the, on the partying and start focusing on uh, the girls who are wrong for Brett. And you know what? We're going to start targeting them one by one and getting them out of here one by one. Here's to Rodeo and here's to Brandy. All right? Hey, everybody. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. time on Rock of Love. First annual Brett Mud Bowl. Let's rock. I love football. I want a girl who loves football. Oh, this savage beast is coming out. We're getting horny with all this tackling going on. Take it off. Get the ball. Touchdown, baby. I decided to sit down and write Brett a letter, exposing all the rest of the girls. With Heather coming in and write me a note, I don't know what you girls think about her. I don't even know if you could trust her at all. She may be setting these girls up. I do know about her that she was on Surreal Life, and she was trying to bang Vanilla Ice, and I believe she did. Brett told us about the letter. The whole letter was, like, about me. What is she writing, stripper diaries? Come on, I want to talk to you for a minute. This letter kind of pissed me off. Did you ever have one of those days where the devil is about to blow? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>